colorful nails created with gel polishes and food plastic wrap in this video coming up. Hello guys, Anastasia here. Today I will be using Fashion Nail Colors Color Gel Polish Kit by Model Ones. I already had exactly the same one about a year ago and yes, it's so good that I would like to use it again. So it contains 16 colors in a small travel size jars of 6 milliliters, which is great because, let's face it, most of the colors we do not really use them all the way until the last drop. So it's pretty cool that you get to use the small one. And the brush in the jar is the regular size. The consistency is medium. Let's take a look at the colors. So we have pink, we have classical. Dancing Cinderella, this one is great, I tried it on the nails previously, cream, one of the best whites, and Black Lava also is a really good black one. Midsummer Rose is a classic red, this one changes its color to dark magenta when it's cold, and this one to dark blue. Beautiful lilac color, Macaron Blue, Passionate is a beautiful orange color, Exotic Birds, a bright yellow, Emerald Lake, this one is really good, Neon Pink, Dancing With Me, and two glitter colors, Ice Bar, Light Pink, and Glitter Silver. It's probably the first time I'm actually swatching and unpacking the kit that I already tried before and I just would like to assure you that I totally love this brand and I'm so happy to have a new kit again to play with all these colors. Let's get to work. These are the nails of my client. We can see some peeling on the free edge and it turned out that she took off the previous product by herself. I was secretly hoping that she socked them off or at least she used a hand file, but no, all she used was her teeth, which is definitely so bad. Please guys, do not ever do that. It's bad both for your nails and teeth. Now I shaped the nails, we just filed them really short, but since she has a beautiful long nail beds, they will still look gorgeous. Then I push back the cuticles with a pusher and start doing dry electric file manicure. First I'm using the flame bit and push up the skin to the left side. I recently posted a video with the overview of the flame bit, so make sure to check it out if you would like to learn more about it. I also have an online course with 60 detailed lessons recorded in HD, teacher graded assignments and certificate of completion. The link will be in the description box as well. Then I push up the cuticle and now we have two options. We can trim it with the e-file as well or we can use an implement. Nippers or scissors? I prefer scissors because they have a huge variety of different shapes and blades. Like, for example, these ones, they have a very long blades, which is great for clients with the long nail beds, just like hers. So then I trim it and now we have beautiful, clean nails that are ready for the application. Now let's get started. I always start by asking my client if she wants to go to the bathroom because now is definitely the best time. So if she does, she does. If she doesn't, then we proceed. So then I apply dehydrator and let dry. You can apply it on all 10 nails, but at this point you need to tell her that she is not allowed to touch her nail beds all the way until the end of the service. Now it's dry and also I will apply a non-acid primer on the free edge to create a better adhesion, but this step is optional. Now we will use a base coat by Modelons and I'm going to apply a very thin coat because she already has a beautiful shape of the nail beds. We do not really need to change it or to add some structure, so that is it. Cure for 30 seconds and the next color will be white from this collection. I have to admit that this brand, Model Ones, they have great brushes in their gel polishes. Because honestly, I do not like small jars, I do not like small pencils, I don't like anything small at all because I have a huge hands. Yes, I wear L size of gloves, so you 
can have some idea of how big my palms are and also sometimes long nails and even then this brush is the normal size i mean even though the bottle is tiny the brush is just like regular brush so i was a bit worried when i was getting this kit for the first time but like i said the brush is just great and as i mentioned before this is my second kit because i almost finished the first one especially colors like black and white and nude they were gone really fast and other colors they're also so bright and intense and honestly guys this is probably the first brand i ever tried that is affordable and has a good quality at the same time meanwhile i applied one coat of white cured it for 30 seconds now i'm applying the second one but this time i will leave a margin near the cuticle and across the sidewalls then i'm going to use a food wrap plastic wrap sarin wrap let me guys know which name is more common for you because i had to do some research and still couldn't figure this out then you just crumple this up cure for 30 seconds and take it off cool right now i will show you what we're going to do with that later so i applied only one coat because this is all we need i mean if we would apply two coats then the overall overlay will be probably too thick so let's just repeat you apply food wrap right on top of the uncured white gel polish and then with the orange wood stick or with your own hands whichever tool works best for you you just fold it you just crumple it and then cure in led for 30 seconds and now let's do the unpacking take it off and wow this looks already pretty right so some of the parts are too high and they will definitely fall off so what i recommend doing is just take an orange wood stick and clean them off right away because in this particular case we do not want any 3d details when you're playing with the plastic wrap make sure you do not like overfold it and also do not go anywhere close to the cuticle or across the sidewalls because it's going to be quite a challenge to take it off from here that's why i recommend you to apply the color with a little margin from the cuticle as well as from the sidewalls so now we can easily take all these parts off as they're extremely thin and it's just super fast then i will take off the sticky layer and we can also slightly buff all the parts that are still extra high the reason we are doing this is because this is a gel overlay and our intention is to do a very thin natural looking manicure but if this were extensions then it won't be a problem at all because we will have more product to apply on top and this will be enough so by the way when doing this be careful and do not buff too much just a super light touch on the top and that's it right because girl you're risking taking off all this beauty that you just created now let's take a moment and enjoy these white nails and by the way if these were my nails i would probably just leave it like that and apply the top and that's it but we are going to add some colors yellow and neon pink from the same collection and now the goal is not just to cover this with the color on top but just to add some spots and when we have these deep grooves the color will be more intense so it is really up to you if you would like to get a really bright manicure you can add more color you can do an ombre using multiple colors or it can be just a simple color also you know what will look great cat eye or chrome powders and by the way i did this design years ago with the chrome powders i will also leave the link down below but back then i did it on tips and obviously it was quite different because with tips nobody is limiting you to the shape and length of the nails so this version is more like closer to the real salon life
when you're done playing with the colors, fully cure for one minute and seal with the top coat. I'm also going to use a Madelon's top coat. And since we have some imperfections on the top, I mean the surface is not perfectly smooth, then we can use a little bit more top coat than usual to smooth it all out. That's why it was super important to apply a thin coat of the base of the color, so at the end we will not have too many layers. This is a no wipe top coat, which means once you apply it and fully cure in LED, you do not need to do anything else. And also the shine is great. Like I said, I'm working with this brand for over a year now and I am 100% satisfied with the quality of their products. So you will find all the links and the discount codes in the description box. Now fully cure the top coat and this is it. Let me guys know what do you think, would you try this kind of design? If you will, please do not forget to tag me, I'm Nailco on Instagram and here as well. I would love to see your works. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!